Have you ever thought about investing in office spaces? It might sound a bit daunting, but it's an intriguing option that could diversify your investment portfolio. Today, we're going to explore what makes office space investment an appealing choice, despite the changing landscape of work environments. Why do some investors still bet big on these spaces? What should you look out for before jumping in? By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of whether investing in office spaces is right for you. So, let's get started. According to a report from CBRE, despite the shift towards remote work, demand for office spaces isn't disappearing, it's evolving. In 2023, office vacancy rates in major U.S. cities began to stabilize, suggesting a recovery from pandemic highs. Interestingly, commercial real estate, especially in tech-centric cities, saw an average investment yield of around 5% to 7%. This indicates not just a bounce back, but an adaptation of office environments to new work cultures that blend in-person and remote modalities. This resilience in the office market shows that strategic investments can still be quite fruitful. So, what's the state of investing in office spaces in the U.S. these days? Even as more people work from home, believe it or not, the market's still bustling with activity. Want to hear something interesting? Reports from 2023 show that fewer offices are sitting empty in big cities like San Francisco, New York, and Boston. These cities are like the pulse checkers for office real estate. And guess what? They're seeing more companies signing leases than before. Why is this happening? Well, companies are getting smart, tweaking office designs to make spaces where people can work together safely when they come in. Think fewer desks crammed together and more areas for team collaboration, but only when needed. And here's another cool trend. More buildings are going green. Energy efficient, healthier work environments are in, pulling in businesses and investors who care about sustainability. How about that for a fresh take on the old office scene? Let's talk about why some savvy investors still spot golden opportunities in what might look like your typical old school office spaces. If you take a close look, it's all about their flexibility and the potential for some serious long-term gains. Think about it. These spaces can often be turned into something way more exciting, like mixed-use properties. Imagine an office that also has apartments and shops. Pretty cool, right? This kind of transformation can really pump up a property's value. Now let's chat about location. Properties right in the heart of business districts or those bustling tech hubs? They're gold mines. They're not just in high demand, they actually tend to become more valuable over time. Plus, they offer something every investor loves, stable rental income. This means even when the economy gets a bit shaky, these properties keep pulling in cash. And here's another cool part. The evolving work culture is actually playing right into the hands of office space owners. As businesses aim to keep their teams happy and healthy, offices aren't just offices anymore. They're turning into spaces with lounge areas, green spots, and tons of perks. This makes them super appealing to companies looking for a great work environment for their employees. Now let's shift focus on office space investments. If you take a close look, finding the right property is crucial. Focus on locations buzzing with potential. Think areas with strong job growth and solid infrastructure. For example, imagine a building with a 90% occupancy rate and a variety of long-term tenants. This suggests stability and a steady demand, making it an attractive investment opportunity. Now you may ask how to analyze a deal. Let's break it down with a straightforward example. Say you're eyeing an office building priced at $1 million. It earns $120,000 annually in rent, giving an initial appearance of a lucrative 12% gross yield. This is your revenue before any expenses. But let's dig deeper. After covering operating costs, which are about 30% or $36,000, the real figure to focus on is the 8.4% net yield. This net yield truly reflects your earnings after all costs and is the number you'll compare against other local investments to assess if this office space is as profitable as it seems. So the question is, if this net yield percentage satisfies your return on investment expectation. If not, then you need to look for a property that offers higher percentage of net yield. Moving on to financing the purchase, suppose you need to borrow 70% of the price, which amounts to $700,000. 
Securing an interest rate of 4% over 20 years sets your monthly mortgage payments at approximately $4,242. Here's where your savvy kicks in. You need to ensure the rental income not only covers this amount, but also provides a buffer. For instance, if the office can be rented for $6,000 a month, you'd pocket $1,258 monthly after paying the mortgage before any other expenses. This buffer is essential for managing unexpected costs like maintenance or property taxes, ensuring your investment remains profitable. Finally, when it's time to close the deal, thoroughness is key. Imagine discovering an unexpected $100,000 needed for renovations. This could severely impact your finances. Such surprises can increase your effective investment cost and reduce profitability. Therefore, ensure a comprehensive review of all potential costs and legal checks before finalizing the purchase. Investing in office spaces can be lucrative, but it's crucial to watch out for certain red flags before making a commitment. One major warning sign is a high tenant turnover rate, which can signal dissatisfaction with the building or the area, potentially leading to frequent vacancies and unstable income. Also, be wary of buildings with outdated infrastructure. These can require costly upgrades to meet current market demands or regulatory standards. Another red flag is the presence of single-use buildings in areas transitioning towards mixed-use developments, as these properties may struggle to retain their value over time. Finally, always check for any legal issues or disputes related to the property, as these can lead to unexpected costs and delays. Having an exit strategy is crucial when investing in office spaces. One common approach is to plan for a strategic sell-off after the property increases in value, often following improvements or a general market recovery. You might consider selling when market conditions are most favorable or when the property no longer aligns with your investment goals. Another strategy is to lease the space long-term to dependable tenants, securing a continuous income stream that could attract buyers looking for stable investments. Alternatively, if local zoning laws allow, converting the office into a mixed-use or residential property could further enhance its market value and expand your pool of potential buyers. Remember, the success of your exit strategy hinges on timely decision-making and staying flexible to adapt to market shifts. Planning your exit strategy early and keeping an eye on market trends are essential steps to maximize your investment returns. From understanding the current market landscape to pinpointing why these spaces are buzzing with potential, we've covered a lot of ground. We've also chatted about how to spot the perfect property, evaluate its true value, manage your finances wisely, and brace for any surprises that might come your way. Investing in office spaces isn't just about snagging a piece of real estate. It's about getting savvy with market trends, adapting to evolving work cultures, and strategically steering your investment to reap the best returns. Thanks for watching. Our channel is dedicated to making investing, finance, and economic concepts easy to understand, empowering you to make smarter financial decisions. If you found this video helpful, others might too, so please share it to help them benefit as well. Help us spread the word by subscribing to our channel. Let's make finance and investing knowledge accessible to everyone. And don't forget to check out our website at www.investingcouncil.com for more information and resources. See you next time.